If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can run K6 script using K6 MCP server. In last video, we have seen about JMeter MCP. If you are new to MCP and wanted to have some basic understanding, please watch the previous video so that you have some basic knowledge of what is MCP and how you can leverage for your tests. In this video, I'm going to execute K6 script using Claude desktop. In last video, for JMeter, I have used WinSurf. But now let us use Claude desktop. And before you start with the execution, you need to install a couple of things. So one is you need to have the Python and you need to install K6 and you have to install UV, the package manager. And once you done with all the installation, you can clone this repo. And also I have added a simple hello world script for K6. And you need to configure this particular MCP server configuration in Cloud Desktop. And once it is done, you can launch Cloud Desktop and then you can uh, ask LLM to start the test. So once the test is started, it will execute and then it will analyze the results and then it will display the uh, results as shown in the image. Now let us go to Cloud Desktop. Just install Cloud Desktop and create an account with Anthropic. They have a free plan. So free plan is suffice for testing purposes. And once you install the Cloud Desktop and the account, just log in and just go to settings page. And once you launch the settings page, click on developer and click on edit config. So this will launch the path where you have the configuration and just right click and open with WinSurf or your favorite editor. So in this particular file, you need to configure the MCP server. So as you see here, I have uh, three servers which is up and running. One is for JMeter and one is for the K6, one is for the Locust. Now let me close this and let us close this as well and click on the uh, K6 here. So here, as you see, it is displaying running and the command and the arguments. In case if you are seeing any error here, make sure you are configuring the MCP uh, config server in the JSON file and restart the cloud desktop. So restarting will help you to solve the any errors. And if you make any changes in the configuration, you need to restart. So now let us uh, close this and let us go to the terminal. So here, uh, this is the uh, simple uh, script which I created, which will hit the endpoint at test.k6.io. And just uh, copy this and to your local and let us use this to run the test. So you have to get the full path of this particular uh, hello world script. Just copy this and you can ask uh, Claude to run k6 and just uh, paste the full path of your test and hit enter. Now it will look out for the MCP tools and once it is uh, found the relevant tool, it will ask you to uh, give the permission. So by default, it will not uh, you know execute any test on behalf of you. You need to explicitly give the permission. Either you can allow only for this chat or allow once or deny the action. So here, just click allow for this chat. So this will start the test of K6 of this particular test script and then it will execute and then it will displace the results as well. Now let us wait for a few moments for the results. So now the test has been completed successfully and it is displaying the summary of the results. So it is displaying the duration, virtual users, performance metrics and so on. And you can also customize the inputs. For example, uh, I can ask, let me copy this. And we can ask, uh, run with uh, say uh, five uh, virtual views for 10 seconds. So this also it is possible. So it will automatically uh, process it. And then again, it will prompt just to click on allow. And here you can see the, uh, the structure JSON. So this is the input you are passing. It will automatically process it and then it will execute. It will displace the results. Okay, now, as you see, the test has been completed successfully with the following parameters and it displaying the performance metrics. 
So now you can ask the follow-up question for any recommendations, optimization techniques, etc. So this is how you leverage K6 and MCP so that you can start your test using the natural language processing. Before we end this video, I would like to show you one more thing. So here at the bottom, there is a hammer icon, just click and here you can see available MCP tools. So here I have the Gmeter test, Gmeter test with non-GUI and K6 test, K6 test with options and also the locust. So this one you can again, whatever you configure in the settings, it will automatically uh, fetch it from here and then it will display the details. So right now, as you see, the K66 failed here. So all you need is uh, to restart the, uh, uh, the cloud desktop or you can restart the UV process. Since it's the very beginning and if you uh, face any other critical uh, issues, please uh, log the defect in the uh, GitHub repo. I will check it out. But uh, for any issues, uh, I suggest you to restart the uh, cloud desktop. Now, as you see, we restarted the cloud and it is a running status. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.